Hello everyone! Welcome to the November Happy Mail Haul. I still cannot believe it is December already. Ah! <laughs> so, a fabulous pile of fabulous cards that you guys have sent to my P.O. Box. If you are new to these videos, these are cards that you guys have made. I post my uh, P.O. Box address in the description box below these videos as well as in the blog post. We do have themes for the upcoming months. I'm not a big stickler on them. You guys are going to see some Halloween stuff, etc. because it can take however long the post office decides to take to get things to me here in Canada. So I show everything that shows up, whether it's specifically for the Happy Meal call. Some of these are just cards people sent just because. And I like to share all of it because I think it's just amazing and I like showing off what you guys do and it always makes my day. All the letters, everything, it just, it makes my day. Um, as I'm just like standing holding, holding this card. Another thing I get asked a lot, a lot, and I've addressed it in other videos, I'm pretty sure. Um, what do I do with all the cards I get? I actually rotate them. I put them on display. I have another little display that I used to have hanging on the wall where I could hang the cards on it. I can't put that up here because it's a rental. But I just kind of rotate my little display of them. If they're completely um, unmarked, like if people write a letter separately and or they just send cards with no message whatsoever, like it's a new card, a lot of times I will bundle them up after a while and give them to someone who can use them and like actually send them to people and use them for their friends, you know, that sort of thing. So they always get put to good use. So that is what I do with the cards. So let's get into all of this fabulousness. Um, this is from Brenda. I like that this is a flat, like completely flat shaker card. I don't know if you just, I think you just sealed it in a sheet of acetate. Like there's, the cardstock base, and then I think there's some color paper, and then the vellum, and then your sequins and whatnot, and then just acetate. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like that's what you just sealed it. So it doesn't shake as much, but it's incredibly flat. I like it. Like, and they still, like, the larger sequins still move around, so it's fun. I really like that. It's really pretty. For gold. I love gold love gold so pretty so thank you that one and then this one from natalie r in australia i like the narrow size of this i like different shaped cards i always make a2 that's just my thing but it's always fun every once in a while to mix it up and this is very unique and there's a matching envelope even which i really like too like how fun is this so pretty and i love like these are like little blue rhinestones and some micro beads and it definitely looks like water. I love it. Love it. So pretty. And so many of you guys line the insides of your cards with different colors of paper. I like that. Not cardstock, you know, but paper similar to, you know, store-bought cards, which we shall not mention, but I kind of like how it just gives it that little extra something. It's pretty. I like it. Very nice. Very nice. So we've got that. And then this one from Lori in Kansas. Love the dimension of the gray die cut behind the white. It just gives it that extra something. So pretty. This bird has like a sparkle on it and then a nice dark gray envelope with some snowflakes. And of course this like black shimmer. I'm pretty sure this is Simon's like black shimmer cardstock, which is a uh, love, love. So pretty, that. And then this one from Lisa in Ontario. She actually sent this, um, she was one of my Halloween card winners. So it's just a thank you card, but it's so cute. I love when you guys decorate the envelopes. I need to do that more often and uh, my handwriting is horrible, but like, it's just, it's adorable. It's adorable. And this is so fun. Isn't that fun? And you can like, Usually these you can like twist up a fair bit and then you put it in the envelope and then when the person goes to open it, it'll spin. I need to make, I have st a million stamps and dies meant to like make cards like this. And shockingly, I've n I don't think I've ever made one. Not like this anyway. I love it. It's really pretty though. So really fun. Love that. And I love how it hides a little like sentiment behind it. It's so cute. And like you even stamp the back with that stamp. 
love with that. And then this one was from Lori, also in Ontario. She had sent me a birthday card. My birthday was in October. And then if things show up in November, I stick it all in the bin to share at the end of the month. I really like how you did the acetate window with the die cuts on top of it. And then again, use a piece of paper, like your coffee paper, to kind of line the inside. So you could still write your message and it's, you know, not visible through the window. So that's just fun. So fun. Of course, I love anything metallic. So thank you. That. And then this one from Jackie. Fun little Halloween card. I love your background. Love your background with the little Simon kitty cat po peeking under the pumpkin. One of my favorite images. The one I used on my first Halloween card video for this year. And I just love. So fun. So fun. So yeah really cute so cute and then we've got this one from Bronwyn in Australia using this fabulous lawn fawn set and doodle bug paper and yes I hear you on how difficult it is I've said this so many times I have such a hard time cutting into my pattern paper I like to hoard it <laughs> it's always so cute though when you use it but ugh, it's just difficult to finish the inside love it it's so cute so cute. Got that. And then funny thing, Nicole Spore sent this to me. I remember watching her video of this card and so many people were commenting saying that this looked like me, which I think, I think y'all are nuts that said that. Um, she's way cuter than me and her hair's a lot lighter. <laughs> But I love this card. So everyone kept saying she needed to send it to me. It was funny. So she did. She uh, mailed it to me and I just love it. So now I have a Nicole Spore card and this is so cute. And I bought this set after watching her video. I bought the stamp set for this, which is also funny because it's discontinued now. It was a limited edition set. So super, super cute though. Isn't that adorable? Thank you, Nicole. I love it. Okay, and then we've got some cards from Hope. She sent a little letter. Um, I think she's planning on, I think from the new year, she'll start sending every other month, not every month, which Hope, it is totally up to you what you wanna do. I know so many people leave comments and are, you know, are disappointed when they don't see cards from you, but these take a ton of work. Like I am appreciative of every card everyone has sent and these take so much work. So yeah, like these are just little works of art. Cross stitching takes so much time. Ugh, I just love it. So very well done. So very well done. Love that. And then she sent cards to my kids, which I'll show you guys. And then I'm going to put these back in the envelopes so that my kids can check them out when they get home from school. Oh, that's adorable. Isn't that adorable? That's so cute. Love that. Okay, so we'll put that one back in there so that they can open that themselves. And then we have this one from my littles. Let's see. Oh, that's a so cute. Little penguins. They're gonna love that. Thank you, Hope, so much. The kids will get a kick out of those. They really will. So adorable. Okay. So those. And then this adorable card from Heather with this fun little like window scene, little mousy with a uh, latte cup, pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> so cute. So cute. So very fall, it's so cold and snowy here. So I love, I'm still like fall colors. I'm like, oh, bring it back. Love, love. And then we've got this one from Isha in Finland. I love how you made the moon, like the shaker element. I think that's so fun, so creative. We got shimmer and some glitter and I love the square size of this too. And the, how you did the little corners on the layering piece on the inside. That's so fun, so fun. Thank you. All right, last but not least is all of this fabulousness from Evelyn. Um, I've said this until I'm a broken record, but I will keep saying it in every video, gifts are not necessary. But some of you, I know what it's like to 
you know, want to create for other people and make gifts and like the joy of just making it and, you know, sending it to people. So my kids already, one of them has gotten um, a sneak of this because I couldn't resist like a little bit opening, but I wanted to save it for the video. And she's been bugging me every day like, when are you going to film this so that they can like, well, they want to get at the candy, but the, also the containers are just adorable. Okay. <laughs> so she sent me this and again, I am wowed by your skills. She made this, I'm almost positive, because she made those fabulous, those that watch the Happy Mill Hall videos, she'd made that amazing little unicorn for Caitlin's birthday and that awesome dragon for Gavin's birthday and this, and yes, I can smell the coffee, but there's coffee beans in this. It smells amazing. This is gonna sit on my desk, seriously, because, oh, I love the smell of coffee. Like, oh, and it's just, it's adorable, so thank you. I almost wonder, I could probably just use this as like a little pin cushion too, which would be fun. Cause I have a pin cushion, but it's nowhere near as cute as this. And I always need pins for different things sometimes when I'm crafting. So yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna use them for. And he's just gonna live right on my desk cause he is adorable. So thank you. And then, okay. These are what had the kids so excited. I just, I'm always blown away by your little treat boxes and everything because they're just, they're so creative. So creative. Look at these. I am just, are these not the cutest things ever? Love it. Absolutely love it. I think these are just, I don't even want to get them to the kids. <laughs> I just want to keep them and they all have these fun little treats inside them all these different little treats which is what has my 12 year old like so excited so like there's like these little tutti fruity candies and I'm not sure if they're all the same or if they're different oh they are different so yeah you guys always get it's fun to see some some of the different candies you can get in different areas of the world so yeah we've got those hearts and the fruit ones and all this stuff so thank you the kids are gonna be really excited when they get home from school and can actually have some of these candies and i know my older two are just gonna absolutely love these little boxes they're gonna want to save them and put them on display for next halloween so really adorable i love how you did this one this is just masking tape brilliant absolutely brilliant just love it there's those adorable oh, I love that. adorableness and then these were personal cards like not necessarily for the happy mail that she'd sent but of course I want to share these to you I love your die cutting is just something else and this guy glows in the dark I love it love it that one and then this fabulous one for that she sent for my birthday and I love how you did this like die cutting the unicorn from the background and then just making that shimmery I don't know how to pronounce that does that mean happy I don't even know exactly what it means I assume happy birthday or something to do with unicorns I think that's yeah I'm not sure <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> but it's so cool isn't that neat isn't that neat? There's that one. And then so many Happy Mail cards. I've said this before. Um, anyone who wants to combine months and send ahead so it's all in one package, so it saves you on shipping, everything is great. That's totally fine with me. It helps if you label them, you know, with a sticky note saying it's for, you know, Happy Mail for January and Happy Mail for February, etc., etc. Um, and then I just set it all aside. This, because she sent this from Estonia just arrived I think it was a week ago or something it took its it took its time getting here so this is September October and November so we're a couple months behind on this but I definitely want to show all these fabulous cards you went to so much work with all of this they're just they're so pretty and you've embossed the leaves into the envelope and there's gold splatter I love gold splatter it's another gorgeous fall card so pretty that one super fun Halloween one I kind of have a feeling that probably glows in the dark too doesn't it Ugh. love and there's a house on there a little die cut like just kind of hidden very creative 
so very creative. All of you guys, just some of the thought process that goes into your creations, and I'm just like, huh, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> Uh, that's another, that's my sneaky reason. That's why I do the Happy Meal haul videos. It's because, you know, I get ideas from you guys too, like, so often. So yeah, this one is much larger and all shimmery. I love how you did the envelope. So pretty. So pretty. And this really fun, fun one. I love the tone on tone. Like using the die cuts and then just adhering them right over on the card base and it just, I don't know, there's just something about it. I love it. It's so cute. It just gives it that extra something. Very, very pretty and you even add them to the envelope too, which just, that shimmer on shimmer is so elegant. And last but not least is this beautiful ornament she made. This is now the second or third ornament I've been sent. I'm gonna have to get like a little tree or something where I can hang up the ornaments you guys sent because I'm definitely never gonna get rid of them. And it's just so special. And this is just gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? Totally see-through. Love that. Love that. So yeah, thank you. And then last but certainly not least in the bottom of the box was this amazing iced coffee and mud cake infused until, oh my God, oh. That's staying with me, my kids are not getting that. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you Evelyn so very much. When your parcels arrive, they're always wrapped in like this beautiful foil paper and the post workers are always so jealous, it's funny. They're like, oh, gifts for Amy. I'm like, oh yeah. And I always recognize your parcels because they're just so beautifully packaged and just everything. So thank you. And thank you to all of you. I can never say it enough. It really does make my day. The last few months have been very stressful behind the scenes and though you know I've been sick and there have been things going on and it's just it's been rough but going to pick up the mail and seeing these envelopes and creations and everything always always brightens my day so I appreciate it and I love sharing it with all of you guys because you guys rock I think I have the best little like group of people here on the interwebs ever. I consider myself very fortunate to be able to do what I do and to be able to share it with everyone. Like, it's amazing. So thank you a million times over. And as always, um, leave some comments down below for everyone if you have questions or anything. Leave them in the comment section below here on YouTube. You can ask on my blog, on Facebook, and yeah, let them know how awesome their stuff is. Those that are new, um, I see those comments a lot. You know, people saying like, oh, I could never, I've never sent cards, or mine aren't good enough. Mine aren't good enough. That one, don't believe that for a second. Honestly, I, yeah, go on splitcoaststampers.com, find my original gallery. I think my username's still just Amy R on there. If it's still there, you can find the cards that I posted when I started card making. They are nothing special. I've left them up all, all these years back, you know, from 12, 15 years ago, whenever it was that I posted them there. And they're nothing special. But you know, you all gotta start somewhere. And I, it's the thought more than anything that counts. And it's just, amazing to see everyone's creations and obviously no one has to send gifts or anything like that it's always appreciated but never necessary and yeah that is it for me for today thank you guys i'm so overwhelmed and just grateful this this is a great way to start my week just this so i will see you all very soon in another video